organize myself here. Hey everybody, it's Shana Recker here from Girlfriends Guides Network Marketing, and hopefully my microphone's not bunched up there. Uh, welcome, and I apologize, this is my first video this week, it's already Wednesday, and uh, I'm just getting on live, but um, it's just been a busy week for me, and I'm coming to you from my kitchen, because I don't know if you can see out of this corner here, I have these gorgeous roses in my kitchen right now, and I wanted to share them all with you, because they are just so super pretty. I love the color. They smell amazing, and I kind of wanted them in my shot. So here we are, and um, so they're going to kind of stay there. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, the highs and the lows in your network marketing business, and I want to ask you guys all a question, and this was something, again, I had a coaching call this week, and this was something that came up in a coaching call, and so I wanted to share this with you guys because this is something that it's taken me personally some time to learn this in my business and I've been in the highs and I've been in the lows, I've been in both. Um, so I wanted to share this, this just little wisdom of nugget, this little nugget of wisdom that I received um, along my journey that has helped me through the highs and the lows in this business. So I wanna ask you guys a question. So when, let's say you have a new person and they say yes to you. They're like, yes, I wanna do this business with you. I'm going to sign up. Let's do this. And they sign up. And then all of a sudden you are like freaking out. You're like in your house, you're screaming. You're so excited. You're so happy. You can't even contain yourself. You just feel like you've just like won the lottery. This person's joined your business and you're so, so excited, right? You're so high. Like it's just amazing, right? We've all been there. We've had that experience, especially when you're new. It's like you got your first business builder. Woo! And then all of a sudden two, three, four days later, maybe even two weeks later, they are nowhere to be found. They are not returning your calls. They're not returning your messages. You have, they must have been kidnapped. Something must have happened to them because they are missing in action and you have no idea where they are. Or you find out at that same time, you find out that they finally get back to you and they say, you know what? I've just decided this business actually isn't for me and I'm not going to do it. And now you're feeling so low, like you are devastated. You know, what you thought was going to be this amazing business partner that was just going to run with you and be, you were so excited. And then you find out however long later that they've just decided it's not for them and they're not going to do it, or they've just disappeared altogether. And now you're feeling so low. It just hurts. You're just, you know, all these things that you had planned in your head, is just disappeared, it's just crumbled underneath your feet and you're just feeling so upset about the outcome of that situation and now you're so low. Is anybody, if, like give me a like if you've experienced that in your business, super high because something super excited has happened in your business, it could be anything, right? It could be you've got a new client who just did a giant order but then find out later that they canceled everything because they want to they buy from their sister instead. You know, it could be, um, you know, it could be anything in your business. There's lots of highs and lots of lows. And if you've experienced both sides of that, you'll know how it can be very um, exhausting going through the highs and the lows in this business. So I want to give you guys some tips for that, for dealing with that. And, and really, there's just one tip. It's really just one thing, is that you have to just not let the highs get too high for you and don't let the lows get too low. So in this business, you know, we get high, we get a new person joins and then they decide that it's not for them and they leave. And we're, we're going like this in our business. So I encourage you instead of trying to, instead of really just, you know, being so excited, you can't contain yourself. Just keep your pace to an even keel. Yes, there's going to be some ups and downs, but keep it more to an even pace up and down. Do you like that? Can you see that? a more even pace up and down versus going like this. Because then when that person, and it's going to happen, if it hasn't happened to you yet, I promise you it will. When that person that says they're going to join decides down the road that it's not for them or quits or disappears, you're not in a place where you were so high that when that happens, you're absolutely emotionally devastated. When someone joins, that's great. Awesome. Good stuff. And until they get to, be, to get to work and get into activity, I am not really getting overly excited. I've learned to pace my highs and lows to just keep an even keel because I don't want to have that massive disappointment when someone decides that it's not for them or they quit or they disappear or whatever happens. And it's taken me a little time to get to that place where I don't let the highs get too high and the lows get too low. Gosh, I remember times in my business, and if, you, if this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up or a heart. 
where I would be on edge waiting for that person to message me to say yes. You know, and I'd be saying to my husband, going like, where is she? Like, why isn't she messaging me? Like, I, I gave her all the information. Like, like, you know, she should be messaging me right now. And like, should I message her again? Should I, you know, my husband would be like, dude, like chill, right? And I remember being like that. And it took me some time to get to this place. And I think it's, it's time and it's also experience, experiences to get to a place now where I've, you know, present the information to somebody about the opportunity they have for them. And get to get to this place where I'm like, she'll contact me when she's ready. And if she doesn't contact me, that's okay. I'm moving on anyways, right? Because here's the thing. We have to have in our businesses an abundant mindset. If you're in a scarcity mindset, that's, that was me. I was in a scarcity mindset. I was in a place of, oh my gosh, like if she doesn't join my business, like what am I going to do? Like I'm not going to have anybody. Like what am I going to do? And that was a scarcity mindset that I was coming from. And over time in this business, and I've learned it because I've seen it, I've had people come and go in my business. I've learned not to get overly excited when someone joins because you, you know that it can go into a low place later and I don't want to have to experience that. So I keep myself in a very even keel. And if that person doesn't join, my mindset is abundance. I know that there are hundreds of thousands of people out there that I haven't even talked to yet about my opportunity or my product, and that there are more people out there looking for that, what I have than there are of me offering it. So my mindset is if she doesn't join, that's okay. There's going to be somebody else. And, and I can move on and I don't let those lows get too low, right? So having that abundant mindset is, is goes with everything in your, in your business is that, you know, there's enough people out there that are going to want to use your products. So making sure that if someone says no to your products, that's okay. There's more people out there that you can talk to that will want to tip to try your product. If somebody says no to your opportunity or, you know, like this is what happened this week with one of my, with one of my friends is that somebody's considering joining somebody else. And that's okay. You know what? If that's what happens, that's where they're meant to be. And there is way more people out there that we can talk to. And there are people that are out there actually looking for us. We just haven't found them yet. So what is your mindset around that? Don't let the highs get too high. Don't let the lows get too low and have an abundant mindset knowing that if somebody comes into your business and leaves or somebody says they're going to come into your business and then doesn't show up um, or somebody says they're going to buy your product and then turns around and says, forget it, I'm going to buy it all for my sister. Don't let those lows get too low or the highs get too high and know that there's enough people out there for all of us to be able to share what we have and that are going to say yes eventually. So my tip is, is try and keep the highs and lows more of a neutral. Just know that these things are going to happen. It's part of being in this business and don't let the highs get too crazy high where you're running around the house screaming and yelling like you're so excited and the lows get too low where all you want to do is just lay in bed all day and eat crackers and cheese. <laughs> Sometimes we do that. Um, so I just, <laughs> so I'm getting hearts and thumbs up. So some of you do that. <laughs> um, some of you can relate. Anyways, I just want to share that. It is something that I've learned and it's something that I think is so important in this industry is to just try and make sure that we keep ourselves on an even keel. If somebody leaves the business and doesn't, you know, return your calls, you know, just say to yourself, isn't that interesting and move on because there's somebody else waiting. So that's my tips for today. You guys uh, don't let the highs get too high. Don't let the lows get too low. Just stay even keel and have an abundant mindset and know that there's lots of people out there that you can serve with your opportunity and your business. So just keep moving. Um, so thank you so much for joining me for that. I want to remind you guys too, I am actually creating all of these videos. I'm creating a library of all of these trainings on YouTube and you can find me on YouTube. If you search girlfriend's guide to network marketing, you can subscribe there and then you can have all of these trainings in one spot instead of always having to scroll through the Facebook page to find it. Um, and also if you haven't received my guide to being a Facebook live superstar, you can get that on my website. It's www.gg2nwm.com. You can pop in your email address and it will get emailed right to your inbox. And don't forget to check your junk mail because it might be there as well. So that's it for me today. Shana Recker here from Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing. I hope that you found value in today's tips. If you did, tag your team members below, share this on your page or with your team. And I hope it serves you today. And I hope that you enjoyed my beautiful roses as much as I did. So anyways, thanks so much, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.